This is an installation and review of the foam grips or grip puppies. These are made in the United Kingdom. And it's been probably 35 years ago <laughs> since I last bought foam grips for a motorcycle. And that was over here in the States too. So I'll install them on the Tenere 700 and I'll see how they work. If they're more comfortable than regular grips, if you have less tingling in your hands after a couple hours of ride and whatever. So we'll see how it goes. The biggest difference between these grips and the one I bought the three dozen years ago is that the foam in these is way denser and it also has a thin layer at the inside of the foam grip that's more like a rubber. On this bike I have to remove the handlebar guard and I have to go and backer the tube guard in front of the original Yamaha guard. And in order to remove those, I have uh, both guards, I have to remove the little cell phone holder. And this is a lightly modified uh, cell phone holder. It's probably the best cell phone holder I used. It holds the phone very, very securely. And I've been riding some pretty rough areas and it does not fall out. Um, I modified this holder and I modified the bracket on the rather right bracket underneath. And the next step is to loosen or to remove this Hepco Becker guard. And this is not the original fastenings. They had some pretty very low grade quality bolts and they had a very hideous looking system so I had to modify it too. Uh, it's a bad habit to have, uh, like modifying stuff. So these are stainless steel bolts that can take the torque that's uh, specified in the boot. And this is also a modifier. I changed the bolt from what was in the Hapman Becker set because it was not the best. millimeter to remove the bar and weights. There are multiple ways to skin this cat. It has to minimize the friction between the existing grips and the foam grips. I'm using zip ties about 24-25 spread evenly around the existing grip. As I thread the foam grip onto the existing grip, the zip ties mushrooms and I pull the zip ties out one by one, deflating the mushroom. When the grip is about halfway, the foam grip can be twisted further in and the mushroom again deflated. When the foam grip is closer to the finish line, every other zip tie is removed and a pair of pliers can be helpful to do this. And then you just keep pushing it until it's all the way in and remove the zip ties as needed. Then it's just repeat the process on the other side of the handlebar and then reinstall the parts that you had to remove, usually just the bar end weights, but in my case, also the hand guard and the cell phone holder. I've been riding with the foam grips for a little while now, and they do really help on to minimize vibrations. But also if you have long fingers, I use a glove size XL, then they really help because you have about a half an inch larger diameter on your your grips. In addition to modifying things I have another bad habit and that's right on uh, not just second but like third grade roads and a lot of times uh, gravel roads and down here in the deep south as mentioned before the gravel roads are very very rough because they use a t-style gravel instead of an interlocking gravel 
and that was the main reason I bought the grip puppies was to try to alleviate some of the stress on the hands after long rides on those gravel roads. They help a little bit but not as much as I hoped. The other benefit was as mentioned before was the uh, difference in size, roughly half an inch bigger diameter and that's kind of nice. Thanks for watching, have a good ride, please subscribe, more videos to follow.